In fact, the word feeling is borrowed from the tactile sense of, of to feel mm -hmm. tact, tactfully. And that's not a good word for uh, what. And it's also confused with the word emotions. Yes. And I think it's necessary to differentiate between feeling as a rational function and emotion as having to do with heat or cold yes. inside us. Yes. Valuing would be a better word, I think. I can think of women I've known, particularly women, who by their very presence in the room changed the feeling tone of the room. They didn't have to say anything. You knew by their very presence whether they approved of what you were doing, whether they approved of your values, and they could send out a judgmental message right through the room with, with no language. But their feeling function was changing yes. the very atmosphere in the room. Yes. Such a person is very valuable. They bring an intangible value, which is pure gold. Especially saying. if they're valuing in a positive way. Yes. A little while ago you were saying that we don't make the difference between feeling and emotion. And there's a third one also which gets mixed into this. And, and that is mood. Can you tell me exactly what you mean by feeling? If you, you are connecting it with the word value. Yes. That's my best term for it. In other words, what are your values? If something happens, <clears throat> what is my reaction to it? And value is the most differentiated term that I have available. Of what value or what value do I put on that? Is it something noble? Is it something useful? Is it something fine? Is it something carefully differentiated? It's an assignment of value to to, to that particular object. That means a great deal to me. You know, it, this is where, or in terms of what we believe, um, are we willing to to stand to our own truth? Are we willing to let other people run over the top of us? Yes. Do we project what we want to value onto other people instead of holding them in our own hearts? Are we willing to die for what we believe? 